Hello, hello guys. Good afternoon and we are back for our third series natin. I think this is the earliest third series na na-cover natin ngayon. Is it raining? Yeah, parang uh, umambon saglit. Saglit, literal na saglit. Like, parang may nagwisik lang. Wala pang 5 seconds yung narinig kong patak ng ambon. 10 seconds remain. But as of now, we are waiting for the fifth ban on both sides. So, yun nga pala. Uh, Magalaban ngayon will be gaming gladiators up against Tundra Esports. So, this is the upper bracket finals. Whoever wins this will be uh, going towards the grand finals, waiting. Kusi naman yung makakalaban nila dito for the grand finals on this uh, Valley Major. Now, fifth ban is what we're waiting for for Tundra. And uh, madami dami pa naman sila dito reserve time. An opening pick for gaming, which is Timber, Broodmother. This is kind of a, a good opening. Like, versatile hero at the same time. Then these are the meta heroes also. So, I think okay naman to for gaming gladiators. Now, Tiny is one of the heroes that suddenly is uh, showing up. But I mean, uh... It was Quest Esports, yung parang gumagamit na itong Tiny. Tiny mid, not Tiny support. Uh, Azure, yeah, gumamit din sila ng Tiny support and it was FY during that time. But the now, grabbing out Snapfire for the side of Tundra might be their mid hero to deal with the Timbersaw. Ten seconds. Five seconds. So we're just waiting right now for the third and fourth pick on Gaming Gladiators. Para bida bida naman tayong options dito. Radiant must choose. Quick. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Dyer's turn. So after getting Rubik for the side of Gaming Gladiators, a quick bat rider pick for Gaming. So this might be their two supports for Gladiator Squad. Tundra Esports, I don't know what's missing. Uh, most likely off lane and safe lane hero yung inahanat ng Tundra Esports I don't think it's gonna be smart move to pick their safe lane first. Uh, much better at ang off lane mo na ng Tundra Esports. But if we're gonna talk about safe lane, yeah, madami pa mga open. Actually, ilan lang naman yung safe lane hero na ban out dito. Isang nga lang, Naga Siren. So, Tidehunter, even though they have Rubik, 
they're still gonna grab this Tide Hunter. As long as Demon mo huwa yung Ravage, Demon mo papagaw yung Ravage, then I think a Tide Hunter is not a bad choice. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds. It is Dawn's man. It is Radiance man. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Dyer's turn to ban. Radiant's turn to pick. So now for the last pick on Gaming Gladiators, ang inaantay natin. Dyer must choose. Faceless Void And uh, they'll be gra grabbing Faceless Void Well, that's one way for you to start the fight And maybe uh, kill the Tide Hunter if needed Chronosphere, wala naman tayong pakas sa Kraken Shell dyan You can easily just throw this uh, Chakram seconds. over to the Tide Hunter If you have enough damage, pwede mo mangunahin yung Tide Hunter If you're gaming gladiators Meanwhile, for Tundra Sports, they have something that could save their teammates inside the Chronosphere Which is yung Pagna so positioning wise is a little bit important for Pogna this game that the shame against saving grace for Tandra Esports. Meanwhile, we're looking for a safe lane hero that should be able to deal with the faceless void. Uh, I'm not sure about the Raid King since uh, I think it was Tundra who picked Raid King before. Yeah, up against Liquid. Sniper yung safe lane in Liquid then. So uh, I think the bullet pa yung Raid King this game. I'm not sure about the lane stage since we might be leaning up against Brood. So baka may rapan yung Raid King dito. But up against Faces Void Chronosphere, like, wala ka naman problem, diba? Shoutout nga pala kay Vincent Yap. Yan, good afternoon, boss, and welcome sa ating stream. Do let me know, guys, if may narinig kayong ibang sounds kapag nagsasalita ako. Kasi, hinabad ko yung headset kayo, so baka mamaya narinig yung... Nag-speaker na lang ako sa in-game sound. Baka mamaya kasi narinig nyo rin yung in-game sound sa mismong mic ko. Ang init kasi sobra, kaya ayaw kong suotin yung headset. Stand, stand Choose ready. your hero. Ten seconds. Five seconds remain.
продано. Продано. О, окей, it's Ven. For Tundra. Yeah, you have Warcry, so... Armor, this game... Hindi naman sobrang laki ng value. But it does help. The way you lane up against the Broodmother is one of the main reasons kung bakit sila nag-spend for Tundra. I think wala siyang problem for the Spawn Spider links. Huh? Uh, tignan natin, I mean, uh, they have this uh, big initiation tool for Tundra, which is Tidehunter, Ravage, into a quick swoop damage from Skeeter, di ba, with this Sven. So it's all about initiation para sa game ito. So here we are, game one of our third series for today, and uh, magkakaroon tayo ng boss. <laughs> I almost trust you. <laughs> to earn myself a bad reputation. You mad? Cause I am! Ha! The true heroes are the ones who wait all the way. 30 seconds and counting. So here we are back to the game itself. Akarishum lang naman. And uh, at this point, tigyan natin kung sakaling uh, makaka dire diretso pa yung Tundra Esports even though they have a stand-in yung coach nila or gladiators pa rin yung magpe-prevail. And uh, waiting for the grand finals, the hoping for another uh, major now. title for Gladiators. I mean, history is being made by Gladiators so far. So 33 is dropping low, another blood grenade will be used. This time it's over to Diracchio, who is dropping low as well. He'll time up his way out here. Just need to be careful. And as for Celery, he's looking for opportunity to maybe take out the Tide Hunter. Meron ulit siyang flame break. But I think that's gonna be enough to finish him off. And actually, he'll try. Zoning out the Tide Hunter. And uh, Ayui. <laughs> Like, everybody's low on HP. If there's a Bloodseeker in this game, parang sobrang bilis niya na at this point. Oh god, 33. Oh, Celery, body blocks for sneaking. Not gonna work out.
There Gosh. Over to Diracchio. Still on cooldown yung kanyang time off dito. He'll pop the magic stick. Should be uh, enough para na maka survive. And uh, back on farming. Para sa faces void. Mid lane action. We do have 9 up against Queen. Snapfire up against Timber. I don't think. Uh, kaya niyang patayin yung Timber sa dito. Like, he has damage, yes. Pero kailangan niya pata ng ultimate niya para na maging enough. Yung kanyang burst. And of course, plus one hero is needed. Speedbolt and Skitter Warcry use. I mean, they have lift for Tofu. Killing Lotto Small who will put ace. So it's a big help. Snaking Dito. The body blocks for Dracula. Now they also have the Firefly for Celery, and that should be enough to take him out. Snaking goes down. First but secured by the Celery. So there we have it. Uy, shoutout nga pala kay J-Lord Saldana. Yan, pasensya na guys if ever na hindi ko agad mabasa yung comment nyo. Ah, uh, kasi hindi ako naka-dual screen eh. <laughs> what the way? Avalanche over to the timber so Queen can he survive from this? Unfortunately, yung scatter blast hindi siya yung point, uh, point blank range, so uh, wala yung bonus damage given. And as for Queen, he'll live. So maawag original pa naman siya under the tower has ring of health, I believe. Yep, may ring of health siya on top of the bottle. Level to reactive armor, so kailangan niya siguro ng creep way. Pero Queen is dropping low, uh, cameraman. Okay, mong, uh, no need. Since Tofu ata yung gustong mas makita ng cameraman dito, hindi ka na mabibigyan ni Ayui. Medyo kapos yung damage dito for Tundra Esports. Ace will man up, try to deal with Skeeter. So again, medyo maingat yung magkabi ng team. Still 1-0 in a 5-minute game. We're going for Atos para sa ating snapper. So at least, diba? Pwede siya mag-scale up into late game, giving the universal hero yung snapper ngayon. Pwede siya mag right click later on. As for Celery, Fireplay was used. Press trying to uh, dish a damage up against 33. It does have the Ring of Health and it's only level 2 Firefly, so it won't help that much for the Bat Rider. And actually, no, I don't know if creep Are we 2000 on top? And tamang right click, right click pa rin naman over to Tofu who's been surrounded. That was three heroes with a rotation from Snaking Avalanche finally comes in. And uh, Skeeter Dito, a couple of right clicks. So maybe Aoi will be the one to grab this. Takes out Tofu. So a uh, nice rotation for the Tiny. Well, another hero dead. This time it's over to the Tundra. That's a big kill. Nine goes down. Rotation from Salary is going to be successful. On to the next one. Uh, they're looking towards to Aoi. Pero di naman na dito yung Timber. So he does have his level 6. Pero no point of chasing down a Pagna that is too far away from them to reach. So Ace. Over top lane. 1v1 situation. Up against Skater. I think okay lang naman si Ace dito. I mean, medyo masakit na talaga yung cleave damage since wala namang armor armor dyan. Mas lang kasi tinabuta ka ng cleave, then... Hindi mo naman marireduce yan. Uy, shoutout din nga pala kay Charles Dura. Yan, magandang hapon sa'yo boss and uh, welcome sa ating stream. Radiant are scanning for enemies. 
So good afternoon guys, and 7 minutes mark, we have Avalanche Para kay Snake actually, kasi muna niya dito together with the Avalanche and the securing the water with the rune Successfully, para kay Snake And speaking of Snake King, uh, there goes the pressure given by Celery So even exchange the naman for the Wisdom And uh, what's happening? Going for Meteor Hammer para sa ating fight Actually available na nga ata yung kanyang Meteor Hammer dito So it should be good Mas makakapag-apply na siya ng pressure sa may bot lane, especially sa tower. As for Queen, queuing up Arcane Boots para sa next item choice, yung energy booster. Top lane, back on farming for both core hero. Yeah, we have level 6 para sa Sven. Hindi ko lang sure kung meron siyang uh, magandang kukunin dito ng stacks para lang magamit yung gods na kagad. But as for Queen, again, just manning up 9 in trouble. Once again, they have the Avalanche for Snake King. Tries and turn this with a storm hammer. Chakram trying to help him out. Not gonna be enough. Godsnake was used for Skeeter, and that's bad rider dead. Four heroes right there for the side of Tundra. Making sure they won't be able to kill the snapper. Quindito, Tamang Jungle ng Alang does have the regeneration room, so no big deal about this. Pede pede pang asya mag ancient. Mira ba stacks? Oh, he missed Akto pang mira pang ancient stacks. Para kay Queen. So, uh, sobrang sulit ng regeneration room for the timber saw. Either Dito, the Storm Hammer will be there. And uh, that's the Sven down. And over to the Brood Mother. They had the fire step cookie to set things up with the Mortimer Kisses. Ace still alive though. The Crossfire will be dropped, but it won't be enough to save Ace. He finally goes down. And as for Dirakio, there won't be any follow up for his ultimate. He needs to disengage. And there goes the Snapfire. I think they're not going to be able He's safe and sound, disengaging for now. Stormhammer use. Skitter down to half HP. And uh, Chakram, whirling that. Down he goes. Well, there goes the Avalanche. Queen Dito, delicado pa nga. Timber chain out para sa ating Timber. Stolen Scatter Blast para sa Ruby. Middle lane. Top lane action, Dracu Dito. Who's manning up, takes out Snaking. Life lane won't be able to finish him off. Ayu without 2000 Dito will be the next target. They crep over to himself. But Anthony Chakram for Quinn. Double kill security for the Timber. And on to Celery. He founds their next target. It is 9. And that's their mid hero for the side of Tundra. Takes him out. 7 3 yung score. 1k lead for Gaming Gladiators. There is 
structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is no more. Three. He's been surrounded and he'll be first taken out by the heroes of Gladiators. Actually, Snakey tries to help out and now has been caught also. That's two down for the side of Tundra. Now, looking at the net worth, it's top three is on the side of Gladiators. Dira mangan na lala yung net worth nila. Pero nagbi build up na hait papana, especially for the support. They're getting their items. Thirteen minutes and uh, celery dito. Malapit na rin sa kanyang blink dagger. That's a bad rider position five. Snake dito abut at panga and uh, might be the one to fall. And uh, for 33, yeah, this is not the ideal matchup. Timber up against a tide hunter, pero apapunta naman yung ati mid seat on the 33. Just hoping that Queen will be staying a little bit further. Pero mo kung magakaram dami man si Queen dito. And he knows that uh, he's not unkillable. And then yung burst, yung magic damage for Tundra. So he needs to be careful about this. The stolen avalanche para kay Tofu. They have the gush for the slow steal. And, and here goes Quinn. Joining the fight for the side of Gaming Gladiators. But disengage lang muna for Tundra. Four K advantage for gaming. Ten three, yung score. Malapit na rin tayo sa blink dagger para kay Celery. And for the timber saw, he's going for Kaya Sanj after getting his vanguard. And actually on its way na yung kanyang Kaya dito. Oh, the flaming lasso starting the fight for the side of gladiators. It's over to 33. I think it's the worst target so far to begin with. So as for 33, he'll be keep on running away, rejoining his teammates, hoping they might be having a chance to turn this fight around. They had a ravage. Now life then connects over to the timber, so still won't commit for the ravage. Stolen from the aerobic, but let's go over to the spin. Timber goes down. 33 Dito release the ravage. And uh, how about the next one? Snaking blinks in, flame break over to Snaking. They might be looking for a much easier one. Might be the tiny with a stolen storm, ha storm hammer from Tofu. Catches Snaking, Snaking with the avalanche toss. Over to the spin. Uh, I mean the Bat Rider. Coron Spear has been dropped. Rakudita dropping low. Timox is way out. Will be fine. They've managed to take out the tiny. Now Tofu Dito might be next. Has the lift. The damage too much coming out from Skeeter. Takes out two right now for Gladiators. Now there goes another Scatter Blast. But it might to dodge out with a Blink Dagger from Skeeter. And uh, that should be a big win for Tundra. I mean, it was 33 after... Using the spell still for Rubik. Then he immediately throw his Ravage. Yun lang naman yun. 
expecting na wala nang kukuha ng Ravage niya dahil ginamit niya yung uh, spell still. Seventeen minutes and medyo nakarecover yung Tundra Esports from the previous fight. So Queen, he really needs those uh, status resistance. So maybe try to farm the Sanj yet. Uh, Sanj first. Meron naman tayong Aether Lens para sa Rubik. So just a good positioning and uh, pwede naman niya makuha dito yung Ravage ng Tidehunter. Now, do found Skeeter. Flame Blake, Chakram, the crap. It might backfire. But a pure damage thing naman yung Chakram dito, so it won't increase. But they have the stolen avalanche from Tofu, keeping it in place. Takes out the Rakshi. Um, Rakshi to the deepest Skeeter. And there goes the Pugna, the second one to fall. Two down for the side of Tundra. So, Gaming Gladiator striking back with a much bigger trade. Two down in exchange of nothing. And dapat ay pangan dun is yung Sven, yung position one hero for the side of Tundra. Is under attack. Dyer should look to their top tower. <laughs> Dyer's top tower is under attack. So, I'm going to go to Rubik. Sobrang ganda ng Rubik sa game na to. Ang dami mong pwedeng kuning spell. Avalanche, Stormhammer. Like, sobrang ganda na ito pang interrupt kung ano man yung gusto gawin ng Tundra. Especially Ravage, of course. And uh, actually, this time, Tundra Esports with the one to make your move. Over to the Batrider. We'll be able to take him out. Pero andito naman yung quick trade for the side of Gladiator. It's over to Snaking. The Stormhammer will be released. And uh, another stolen hammer para sa ating uh, Rubik. Well, four staff. Available na rin para kay Tofu. Ang yaman ng Rubik. Aether Lens, 4 stuff available. 19 minutes. And uh, a Wii 2000 might be a little bit too deep. He's not expecting Queen. Will be there. And uh, that's a part not down. Now they're going for the objective. Since available naman yung spawn spider links para kay Ace. Queen will be the one to tank this one. Uh, meron naman tayong fortification for Tundra if needed. Yeah, still, Gladiators getting their lead, 6k up. So they go to flaming lasso. This time it's over to nine. Chakram, Mondi naman na abot para kay Queen. Atos to try and catch the bad side with the Avalanche. Toss play, God Strength, Storm Hammer. Trying to finish off the bad side. They have the Chronos, it might backfire. They have the Kisses for the follow up and takes out the bad side. But same goes with Sven. He'll be the first casualty for the Tundra Esports. And now, what's gonna be their damage step up to Queen? Queen going for the chase. Ravage finally comes up, but it was too late. He goes down afterwards. 
So Tide Hunter is dead after releasing the Ravage, and this is gonna be another objective for Gladiators to secure. Diego sure was saying, I mean, dapat soundproof yung boot nila. If not, yung headset dapat laging soot ng maayos, like yung uh, soundproofing headset. Kaya. It's totally uh, pangit kapag narinig talaga yung uh, caster or yung audience. So Roshan secured, it's 8k lead for Gladi, let's make it 7k, sorry. Aegis belongs to uh, Dirakio. Faces Void, that going for Milnir, meron na siyang BKB. Gaming na naman na nanalo niyan, well di malabo, I mean last time gaming Gladi, there's it. I think so far, sila yung pinaka-consistent na team na nakita natin, di ba? In the entire season, talagang grabbing uh, performance and dominance yung pinapakita nila dito. Di malabong sila yung mag-champion for this major. And uh, as for Gladiators, they're on to Aoi 2000. And uh, the track run could be enough to finish him off. The chase will be continuing over to another support. That's gonna be the Tiny. Lasso use. Chakram double kill for the Queen. And Tofu with a stolen life drain. Alright. Alaking bagay neto for Rubik. At is magkakaroon sila ng extra sustain for the side of Gladiators. And uh, magandang follow up din naman inside the Chronosphere, diba? Level 1 life lane, di naman ganong katasan yung damage. Pero yung sustain given, it helps. Going for Axe para sa Tide Hunter. So, readying for the uh, deep push potential. Since uh, in expect na dito that uh, later on, Gladiators will be knocking on their third tower. Kailangan nila ng pan deep push. And yung Gush, one of the best. Dahil armor reduction din yan. Low cooldown spell. Aside from that, more I mean, uh, Scatter Blast lang yung meron sa next. Yung Nether Blast, medyo mahirap. Twenty-four minutes in, and uh, continuous pwede naman dito sa pagkahawak ng lead yung Gladiators. That 7k lead for Gladiators. Dyer's middle tower is under attack.
So at this point, tamang farm lang naman for Tundra. Medyo mahila pa yung recovery. And shoutout nga pala kay uh, Hassel Hard. Yan. Good afternoon sa'yo sir. And welcome po sa ating stream. But Queen is just zoning them out. And Nine's gonna be in trouble. They had the reflection for the Snapfire. Celery suddenly shows up. Ready to claim his life. Now, they might be looking for Dirakio with a Ravage for the follow-up control. Do they have enough first? No, Dirakio will maybe pop his BKB in time because we out here. Can they fight back? Looks like they want to, but there won't be any follow-up left for the side of Gladiators. So, time for them to disengage. Knowing a down your Ravage, this might be a good opportunity for Gladiators to actually strike back. Maybe get the final outer tower remaining on the side of Tundra, which is in tier 2 bottom tower. We have BKB for the Bat Rider. And going for Butterfly para kay Dracon. Has the double damage. Oh god. Yeah, good luck. Kasi yun naman yung mauhuli dito ni uh, Dracio. Pinatal niya yung double damage. So you can uh, wait for an opportunity to use this. Now, as for Queen. Just taking out the tier 2 bottom tower. That's the final outer tower they winning for Tundra. They don't have the Aegis anymore, so time for them to push. Flaming Lasso starting the fight for them. Can they put the Tiny on the low ground? Yes, they can. Snaking Dito is gonna be in big trouble. Did I kill Time of his way in? Walang alam magiging target for the Chrono Sphere. And uh, disengage them muna para kay Diracchio. Now over to the Tier 3 bottom tower. They have the Meteor Hammer coming out from 33. And throwing those gush, Diracchio pops the double damage, trying to deal with the tower itself. He needs to be careful. Wala pa siyang PKB for 8 more seconds. And as for 9, he's cutting the wave on bottom lane. Nicely done for the Snapfire, buying enough time for his team to actually uh, farm. Especially for the Sven. Sven's going for MKB for his next item. Since Muga Butterfly faces Void, that's a good choice. Actually, we have Stolen Ravage for the Rubik. Uh, I mean, ngayon ko lang napansin to, ah. Wow. I mean, this is huge. For the next team fight. Yeah, we are good, sabi nga ni uh, Celery dito. Not in-game. Ay lang, tamang uh, friendly chat lang naman. Malapit-lapit na tayo sa Sight of Vice. And for the Faces Void, finally available na rin yung MKB is going... Ay, yung MKB, yung Butterfly, sorry. He's going for MKB. So, these are the items that deals magic damage kahit pa paano. So, pat finally ignoring armor. Especially for Sven, di ba? Pag nakapag Warcry, unfortunately, sneaking here will be caught. And there's nothing he can do about this. Sneaking goes down for 40. They still have Ravage, and I think mga 2 minutes pa to bago mag-expire. Salera dito is on to 9. Well, he'll pop his BKB. Should be able to try and stick and fight back. Ace will be joining in. Medyo malayang Rubik, but he's trying to group up with his teammates. That's had the Ravage! Finally use it over to the Sven. The controls gave up the stolen Hummer. Sven, wala nang galawan moments, and that's it. He's out for 70. Fight Hunters pushing the bottom lane still. Fortified. That was Ravage use para sa Rubik.
Chronosphere drop onto two, dealing with the Pug the first. Gonna pop the PKB para kay Drake. Now aiming down 33. Still has his Ravage, but I guess he'll pay for his 5 stack. Goes out to the Ravage this time. Connects on to multiple heroes. Just a defensive Ravage. Still won't be enough. Mama Day Pernama dito sa third three. And might be a set of racks to secure for the side of Gladiators. There won't be any fortification to protect this third tower for Tundra. Yeah, it's set of racks. Still stolen uh, armor, hammer pa rin naman for Rubik. Kumang, parang no need naman eh, nakunin niya pa dito yung Ravage kasi kinumit niya na kanina yung Ravage. So kahit makuha niya yung Ravage sa Tide Hunter, not available. Still, worth pa rin naman, I mean, uh, worth a try na kunin kung sakaling nga hindi niya papalitan ng Tiny Cooldown. But hang on, got Swank used over to Ace. Ace got the little immediately by Skater. Nice damage. Pero now what? They don't have any control left. Losing to uh, the process for the side of uh, Dundra and a uh, buyback use for the Tiny. There goes the Gush over to Skeeter. Skeeter still alive, getting kited down. The Gush is about to warn off. And they're going for the set of racks on middle lane. We'll be able to claim this. Verity will be throwing the Gush. Will be protected by the live lane. And disengage carefully for the side of Gaming Gladiators. Or maybe they want to continue, but they had the toss back play over to the faceless void. Can they burst him down? Maybe they can. They have enough stun for them to deal with. And they have the storm hammer thrown onto the sneaking. Sneaking D toss still alive. Will do man up. Try to heal the shop. Queen, Queen. Toss back play once again. It's available. Trying to hold him with a storm hammer with a life thing. Queen was taken out. Three big cores down for gladiators. When exchange of a two set of racks, I think okay na okay pa rin yung gladiators dito. Only other bats will know we're still here. for enemies. Well, there goes this Ben and uh, Russia them for Tundra. All right. Kita pa yung mga kuha ng Roshan dito. Second Roshan. So Aegis and Cheese, they might be able to buy enough time for them to grab their next key items. Hindi ko lang sure kung ano yung mga kukuni pa nila dito. I'm not sure what the plan is for Gladiators, knowing that there's Aegis here in Tundra, but I feel like they can still fight the Tundra Esports even if there's Aegis. So we still have almost 3 minutes before we expire. 
yung uh, Aegis for the set of Tundra. So no fog now for 15 seconds. I think it won't matter. Uh, possible pang save lang naman to sa Chronosphere. And uh, mukhang wala pa naman nullifier for Gladiators. I'm correct. Yeah, wala naman sila nullifier pang remove ng uh, the crep. Another stolen. Life drain para sa Ruby. So we are just waiting right now kung ano yung magiging next move for both sides. And uh, looks like farm all the way <laughs> yung magiging call nila dito. <laughs> well, isang set of rocks na lang naman na yung kukunin ng gladiators and uh, so masisecure naman nila yung mega trips. So 17k lead for gladiators and uh, looking good. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. They might be able to start the fight over the Dracula. This might be a good initiation. There goes the Ravage. Is it gonna be enough to finish him off? No, yes, it will be. 90 seconds out for the faceless void. What a good pickup for the side of Tundra. Nicely done. On setting that kill over to the Faceless Void. Dilubik wasn't able to react in time to get the uh, Ravage. And wala rin ata siyang shard upgrade. Para, hindi meron siya shard. Pero hindi niya naligtas yung Faceless Void. So anyway. Uh, that was a big kill for Tundra. Though I'm not sure kung uh, ano yung makukuha ng Tundra esports while down for 60 yung Faceless Void. Maybe the outer towers. I mean, wala silang ravage, wala silang uh, god strength. So, medyo risky pa rin naman for turn drive ever magkakaroon tayo ng team fights dito. Well, sneaking. Yeah, Skeeter. Blinks out. Deep is out. He's safe. Middle Tower is under attack. So Aegis uh, do expires for the Sven. And ano ba to? MKB ba to para sa Sven? I think kailangan niya ng MKB. Since uh, meron butterfly yung faces void. So it really helps. Meron naman siya Sandra Edge. Oh hang on! That's gonna be over to Queen. Well he got dropped. They have the controls. There goes Celery. When Ravage comes off for 33. Dracchio with a 5 on Chronosphere hitting them all over everybody for the start of Tundra. Esports takes out the Snapfire first. Now over to the Sven getting controlled heavily. That's 2 down for the start of Tundra. Gosh will be used. 33 trying to disengage. Aoi not gonna be so lucky. He goes down. They pull buyback is for Tundra Esports. The biggest, but the biggest hero doesn't have his own buyback. That's the Sven who's currently out for 80. And now as for 33, he'll be next. The Jackham, the Forest Staff will be able to give him a Live sneaking Tito might be next. Boomer and Kick will be able to attack him with a I mean, avalanche. Connecting all the two heroes. Mortimer Kills coming out for nine. And now over to a Dirakio. Dirakio, time looks out. Should be enough. Stolen kisses for the Rubik. Just raining down upon Tundra. Flame break use. And there goes 33. Another blinks in. Gosh use. And looks like gladiators will be hitting this set of racks to bottom lane. Fortification finally committed by the Rakadi to time exceeding the first time box. Well, set of Rax is exposed. No fortification left for Tundra. They do found 
the bad rider, but across the board, Snapper goes down for one another. This might be the game. 33 trying to run. Are we not gonna be lucky? And down he goes. GG has been called already. Glad the Ether is taking the game one of the best of three series. What a performance for Gladiators. I mean, it's safe to say na it's almost one-sided. Yung nakita natin dito for Gladiators. Tundra Sports, they're trying their best. Pero wala eh. Wala sila makuha magandang teamfight. Nagkaroon sila ng magandang pick off. Yes, that was uh, two consecutive uh, deaths for Diracchio. Ayun lang yung parang magandang nangyari for Tundra. Then the rest, sobrang outplayed. Gladiators, they're just one step ahead always up against Tundra in terms of teamfights. Sobrang ganda. And that final fight for Diracchio, diba? big chronosphere use. Speechless talaga tayo for Gladiators. I mean, sobrang lapit natin team na to. Sobrang consistent. And uh, I won't be surprised kung sila yung magiging TI champion natin. Actually, gusto ko ang sila yung magiging TI champion natin. Like, that was a history, diba? Like, isang buong season ng DPC natin, sila lang nanalo. No one has ever done that. And uh, ang hirap i-maintain ng isang team, like, na sobrang top yung uh, performance niya palagi. So far, Gladiators, nagagawa nila yung ganung performance. And uh, Game 1 belongs to them. Magbabalik pa naman tayo for the Game 2 after the short break. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And be right back tayo.